hello everyone uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how I farm in SAT or let's say a map tier 7.1 and get a tons of fame credit all right first of all I'm gonna show you this is my fame credit all right this is 6262 just imagine it's zero it's empty right so make sure you click uh, on auto respect it's gonna be yellow on the button and then for the bill this is my bill this is my favorite bill for super speed uh, dungeon uh, clearer right so I'm gonna show you this is my bill first of all I use the most cheapest headgear uh, cloth headgear so my choice is all the scholical and then elder cleric group which is uh, i don't need others except for you know man wounds which is gonna heal me up uh while i'm not in combat and well my build use a lot of mana so <coughs> i'll be using energy regain every time i'm out of mana all right so my choice of weapon i'll be using uh, light crossbow which is tier 8.3 it's okay to get like uh, outstanding quality since it has a uh, really good IP and as you can see physical damage uh, don't look at physical damage this is just for your auto attack but this explosive bolt is my favorite that I use to farm dungeon so I can you know AOE damage with high uh, you know high high damage magical damage which is 616 and then caltrops which make the enemies or the mobs get slow in movement also deals the damage which is 161 physical damage and then this e exploding shot which is dealing 241 physical damage with the boom explode after two seconds and it every time it explode not every time i mean once it explode it will deal about 853 magical damage to all enemies around the target five meter around the target every enemy will get hit this is why one of the most choice for dps in hce right and uh, in addition of that for the offhand uh, to support my main weapon it's gonna be creep candle this is i'm not really that expensive you know i'm not gonna go like 8.3 that's stupid because it's way too expensive but even though um 6.3 it still gives me really good uh, ability which is you can see here physical ability is bonus for 27 percent really high you know why because let me show you something even though it's not that expensive it's still 400k but uh, really rarely you get dove because you wait at the entrance for 90 seconds and you're gonna be safe you'll be in the dungeon until you are done killing all the final boss right and i'm gonna show you about the creep candle and everything else okay this is my destiny bot which is first of all the creep candle as you can see in this category i managed to get 100 per 100 which is also the reason why where i'm getting the combat fame all right and then for the ip that was really high because i got max pack at it this is the first thing that you need to max pack it you know because it doesn't require that much of uh, fame it's only 446,000 fame it's not that much you can just literally uh, max out actually everything here so long as you just use uh, once and then get it activated and then you just have to use the combat theme not that much eh? and I got four of it maximum full maybe tomorrow I'm gonna increase this one to maximum as well and I'm gonna get full potential IP for creep candle and the more you build I mean that you max up the specialization the more it will support your creep candle and vice versa right let's say uh luring cane i'm max luring cane and it will give 10 another 10 bonus point i mean item power to the creep candle which is what i'm using right now 
So this is 10 and this is 10 and this is 10. Uh, no, this is 60. This touch combat give you 60 bonus. 60, 70 and 80. Which is will contribute to the creep candle. Another 10. 70 item power is add into the creep candle. Alright. So uh uh, okay, so uh, this is why I'm getting really huge IP on my creep candle 16,036 Imagine if I max up another one which is the the tap root if I'm not mistaken, isn't it? The tap root uh, secret, secret scepter. Yeah, yeah, it will also give 10 more points for the for the creep candle That's good. That's good and then for the light crossbow this is there's two choices that was so popular in the dungeon clearer it is crossbow is one of the weapon but uh, in crossbow there's two kind of weapon which is very good for dungeon grinding which is bolt caster we will be uh, contribute 10 percent bon i mean 10 point bonus uh, power item power to all the specialization and Light crossbow will contribute 20 plus 20 item power to all the weapons here Right, so I max up my light crossbow and also I'm gonna max out the bolt caster as well as siege bow combat uh, specialist so In siege bow I get 10 in bolt caster I get 10 so that's 20 item power that will contribute to my light crossbow so 200 because of its fully spec plus 20 which is 220 item power will be uh you know will be stated in the item power for of, uh, elder like crossbow i'm getting 1700 it's good it's really good it's uh, you can see it's really high 600 magical damage for my q alone all right so in like robot like crossbow doesn't cost that much all right, so um, this is what my skill that I selected. A Q for my explosive bolt, W for my caltrops, and E as an E. And for my passive skill, I'm getting well prepared because I use a lot of explosive bolt. And that is also the reason why I'm using Kalyan Cape, which is activates when you cast your weapon first slot ability, which is the Q. It will reset the cooldown, which means it can give you another Q for another Q. If you understand me, right? So, and then uh, my my sandal. I'm, I'm using uh, my shoes. I'm using Master Royal sandal, which is not that expensive, but six point three is really good enough. Maybe it just costs uh, costs uh, kind of expensive, but not that expensive. It's less than four hundred thousand silver. So, of course, I'm going to use F. And then it depends on the situation. Sometimes I use it, uh, using it while fighting the boss or mini boss or something like that. And most of the time I use for you know to speed up, so I can uh, you know speed up to the next area. And then aggression, which is increase all your damage and healing cast by 3.5 percent. That's all you need. You need more damage. Everything is about damage. The, the faster you kill the faster you can clear the dungeon and also the faster you kill the safer you are you don't let the mobs keep hitting you right so and there's a lot of choices an elder cleric group you can also use spectre jacket which is gonna give you an aura radius damage uh, which is also good but uh, i don't need that because i need more damage so i can focus on my q this is how light crossbow build is right and then this is one of the most crucial thing which is elder satchel of insight you might want to get one at least 8.1 for the next season update this uh, 8.3 from 65 we will go up to 80 percent combat fame all right this will gain more in the next season so you might want to buy the satchel of insight right now before the price glue blues out so 
this is one of the recommended try to get 8.3 and yeah it is risky it is dangerous but hey you want a fame farm so get as much fame you can get eh? all right so just make sure that you activate it and make sure you have at least a couple million silver on your account or else it's gonna suck a lot because uh, the most sucking silver is this shit out of respect this is what the most sucking uh, your silver so i'm gonna show you how i do my my dungeon grinding I, I think most of you have no idea how did i doing it so for my choice of food of course beef stew i'm talking about damage here everything is about damage go fuck off with everything else and then uh poison maybe tier 6 tier 4 and tier 6 is good enough you don't have to go to tier 8 it's not ganking you don't want to kill people you kill mobs right so make sure it's a good investment on your poison don't go higher tier that's stupid so i'm going to begin now right so this is how the light crossbow build is used for grinding so i'm gonna set a timer maybe i'll put it here right so let's see how long can i get i can clear the dungeon let's do it now that's one this is 7.1 map black zone dungeon uh, if you miss the information all right so we have a healer here you make sure you kill the healer and there you go all you have to do just spam make sure you pile up everything all the mobs here right just pile up all the mobs you w make sure you got hits and try your best to get away from the damage every damage of the bombs there you go it's good that you take every silver it's going to contribute the gill and also going to contribute yourself okay so don't be stinky and yeah people there's a lot of people saying that hey, you don't have to take the silver on the floor it's gonna slow you down actually it's not that much bro right see i'm done with picking up the silver why are you talking about so slow it's a money making why do you stop making money that's stupid there you go oh oh my god i got hit that's how stupid i am right just try your best to you know avoid all the damage okay this is when i'm going to use my jacket to heal up myself see so long it's a tier 8 you have a quite good uh defensive for yourself so don't be too much alarm look at that look at how i do i i call everybody see easy easy use your fucking brain you want to clear up all the dungeons right yeah do it and this is where i use my sandal so i can speed up to the next area which is over here yeah we have the fucking annoying healer here there you go we done next okay this is not really that hard it's just that so many mobs in the same place yeah, it's gonna be easy the only thing that takes time is this guy here it's okay it's easy look at that one tap is dead and it's not gonna be that much either over uh, on the silver on that mob so i can just leave it up for that one uh, it's a special case so it's okay we're going to the second floor okay for this one you really want to make sure you kill you kill the bowman first because their focus shot is extremely dangerous especially when your life your hp is not that full so make sure you kill the bowman first i remember there's one uh, mini boss over in the hidden mines where you want to kill you want to fight the mini boss but you forgot that there's another mobs standing by near the boss which is yes the bowman mm -hmm. the bowman and while you're fighting the boss the bowman keep hitting you and you try to kill it and it's too late because it start to enchanting the focus shot 
where it will snipe you and you die. That's all. So make sure you kill the bowman first, all right? I warn you, so. Uh, look, for example, this is mini boss, and there's not, uh, some mobs over there. You, you need to kill this mob first before you start hitting the mini boss, or else, while you're fighting the mini boss, this mob will come and, you know, assist the mini boss to kill you. So, yeah, make sure you kill them. You might want to use your poison sometimes, but sometimes you don't have to. Like this mini boss, it doesn't require that uh, poison. But if you want to kill it faster, you think you have a lot of money, uh, you can spend on the silver, you know. It's, it's still an investment though. So you can. You can give a poison on him. But for me, I don't need it. You see, I can still survive. 45,000, yeah, that's good, that's good. Then heal myself. Let's see if I uh, still have enough mana. Yep, I do have enough mana. <sighs> now, let's continue. All right, this is where you need to pile up again, the mobs and W and Q. See, easy, simple. Speed up, go to the next place. Pile up every mobs here. Alright. Look at that. W and Q. Q Q Q Q. See how much? Just one more mob. Yeah, we done. Right. Okay, before you take shrine, just make sure you have your full HP, you know. You might get the uh, damage buff shrine. So if you if if you get the damage buff shrine the the red circle, I mean the red aura, you might to be at least not at least you make you have to make sure that you have full HP on you, right? Easy, easy. Now we're gonna get the blue boss. Uh, that was so stupid. I'm sorry. That's how it is in the game. It's random. Sometimes you get a lot, sometimes you get nothing, right? But still, even though it's blue chest boss, it gives something, you know? I I think I happen to get like 500,000 silver from the blue chest. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, it's from the blue chest. I even get like 39,000 silver from purple chest. Imagine that, how fucked up is the game is. RNG my ass, right? Oh, got a book. This is where we reach the final boss uh, location. Nah, this is not work that way, I think. Yeah, just right away kill them in the face. Yeah, easy. And for there's a lot of things you need to do, uh, especially around every boss, which is the same thing I explained just now. You have to clear all the mobs that is standing near with the boss or mini boss. Boom! Oh, you still alive, boy? Okay, there you go. So this is the final boss. I always use my poison first and then I use my E. And then sometimes I use my F depending on the situation. If it start, you know, uh, spinning around, I might want to use my, my uh, sandal but it doesn't spin for some reason uh, this boss is retarded and yeah 65,000 silver that's it so now how much fame credit did I get with my satchel of insight full category of my uh, destiny bot with all the equipments and gears and uh, out of respect, see, 400,000 for one fucking 
dungeon. 430,000 fame, combat fame. Do you know what is this means? It means I can literally fill up my off hands easily. Let me show you. Let's say I want to uh, uh, max up my celestial sensor. See? Easy. 352. Oh my god. Let's say I want to max up my book special combat. See? 300. Easy. Easy. Now full spec of offhand. Right? So what took you so long? It's so easy and simple. And how much silver did you consume? Only less than 500k silver, not 500k, I think about 200 or 300,000 silver, that's it. But you get a tons of fame credit. Don't let everybody scares you like, oh, out of respect will make you poor because they suck your silver a lot. Bro, even though you're poor, you can slap people to death, man. Because why? Because you have really high combat fame and you can easily spec up something shit that you cannot use it in the dungeon for example look at my my look at my oh my god man it's easy man look at my my weapons like it's impossible you're gonna use siege bow or maybe uh energy shaper to farm in the dungeon right that's stupid then how the hell did i max it up by doing this auto respect and then settle off inside 8.3 right look at that fucking max out i just use it on here i never use a fucking book before for my offhand i never use it because i'm not the magic user maybe i play i, I played this before which is Kuskal. i played it because as you know uh, testing purpose for the uh, what's it called again uh, corrupted dungeons other than that no I don't use book see this is where, where my sandals I have three sandals of max out and I have two my rope max out and this is going to be the next a druid rope so I can use it for you know Avalonian dungeon and something for uh, DPS yeah see so i hope that everyone in astria start to fame farm this way why did i use light crossbow because it can clear the dungeon so fast and so precision light crossbow have have the mobility for you to avoid and evade the danger from the boss right look at that you can still move you can still move yeah look at it Cause I what? Cause cause I like to move it, you know. Now sing the song. I like to move it, move it. We like to move it, move it. See, motherfucker. Yeah. So what's wrong with you that you don't want to use? Why the fuck do you use curse? Because you like playing curse. We understand that. But what about you to be good at curse? What about you to be strong at curse? Are you going to bring your curse stuff in the dungeon? For sure not. If you do, it's gonna. I don't. I'm. I'm not saying that the curse stuff or such weapons is not good for dungeon. It's okay, but it's not the best. There's a tons of choices for you know dungeon clear weapons, but my choice is light crossbow. All right. So this is the bill. I'm gonna post the bill in the uh, bill section where you can all get the reference from. And also, uh, I'm going to try to find more bills for you, All right? But if you spec up everything, it's going to be easier for you to grind dungeon. And I forgot to even close my timer. I think it's, it's about eight, eight minutes, I think, for one dungeon. Yeah, that's good. Eight minutes for one dungeon. Three dungeon. How much is that? It's 21 minutes. 24 minutes. What's wrong with that? 30 minutes for three dungeon isn't that great yeah how much how many dungeon you get from uh, 10 map then or maybe okay one one hour you can you can do six dungeon in one hour one dungeon will get you at least 400,000 fame credit times five 
it will be 2 million times 6 2.4 million what the fuck is wrong with that isn't that great 2.4 million for one hour what about two hour grinding Maybe we have more shit to do than just, you know, grinding the, the map. But uh, this is the reason why I always recommend using 7.1 map. So I hope everybody understand that. I'm going to close the video by saying thank you very much for watching and please learn together. And if you have any, you know, any uh, suggestion and comment, uh, just put the suggestion and comment down below in the comment section. And please subscribe my channel so you can keep update with the new training and new guide or tutorial and also, uh, you know, a good uh, clip for Austria Gill. So thank you very much. I'm going to see you again. Bye bye.